Breaking news off the top first at five as the Shelby County District Attorney releases more videos of shootings involving law enforcement. We're seeing video today from three different cases and in all of these the DA has decided not to charge the officers or the deputies involved. WRG Shay Arthur has been looking through that footage. She's live now tonight with late breaking details. Shay. Hey Greg, hey Stephanie. So to give you a little background here, the push to release these videos is actually part of the DA's office initiative. DA Mulray says to be more transparent. Now we do want to warn you, some might find this video pretty disturbing. Shelby County Sheriff's dash cam video shows deputies trying to pull a white SUV over back in March. You can see the driver, Melissa Horton, initially seems to comply, but then appears to try to take off again and go around another deputy before she's boxed in. Deputies were pursuing her after getting a call she tried to shoot her fiance. Soon, two deputies approach, guns drawn. And don't move that truck! Get the truck! Get the truck! Get the truck! We've paused the video before shots are fired, but if you look closely, you can see Horton appear to grab something off her dashboard. Here's District Attorney Steve Mulroy to explain. The video shows that, uh, unfortunately, she lifted a shotgun and pointed it towards one of the, uh, the deputies. So she was armed, and that was uh, one of the main reasons why we decided the criminal charges against the uh, officers or the, the deputies were not warranted. <laughs> In another video released today, the fatal shooting of Corey Brewer. Multiple Memphis police officers pursued him in June of 2022. He was wanted in connection of a fatal shooting. District Attorney's Office says he pointed a gun at them. Also released today, video from December of 2022. A Memphis police officer spotted Latoris Taylor in a stolen car and ran as the officer approached. Investigators say as he ran, he shot at that officer twice. This security footage from a home in South Memphis captures those moments. You can see him appear to point something at the officer. We've slowed the video and stopped it before the officer shoots back, striking and killing him. I walk, walk to my car. Here's a different angle. It's about 13 seconds in. It's important to note the district attorney's office isn't releasing the videos in their entirety. And consistent with our recent and new policy, we're showing the most relevant portions of it. The events that led up to the interaction with the citizen, the actual fatal encounter itself, and the immediate afterwards in a redacted form. So these cases that we just talked about here were initially investigated by the TBI. Their findings were then reviewed by the Shelby County Justice Review Unit that was launched by the DA's office. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.